Welcome back. Well, here in the Watcher's Sanctuary, we have found uh, two linking books and a notebook. That's a bit of a shame that I have to start uh, Path of the Shell with so much reading, but it is really necessary. It's not uh, this notebook is very long anyway. The Watcher's Sanctuary. We really do need to read all this, otherwise we have no idea what we're doing. Okay. Analysis. Author Simpson, transcribed from voice recorder. So that's the same as the notebook we found in uh, Garrison, which was also uh, written by Simpson and transcribed from voice recorder. Age, the Watcher's Sanctuary. Date, October 7, 2002, and April 19, 2003. Two trips. Okay, where to get started? The room itself is actually pretty simple, and at first glance doesn't seem to have much to it. Well, for your average explorer, there's actually much more here than meets the eye. Much more, at least as far as history. It's practically dripping off the walls. Fortunately, I dig that stuff. Lucky for you, I'm also better than your average explorer. Might be getting ahead of myself. Structure. Circular room with a, with a number of doorways leading off in each direction. Large star staircase. Might need some su support work. Leads to an upper level. Okay, this just doesn't work without knowing some of the history and story behind this place. I gotta start there. I've done some translation and talk with, uh, with Watson. This is great stuff. Alright, Tree of the Balcony. I did do a little walking around. I can't see it well. Dark, but it's an old tree. I don't know exactly when it was created, although certain style and material elements suggest as far back as the early 2000s, long before a guy called the Watcher came around. And it's the Watcher that this place was created for, renovated for, and dedicated to from the time it was built in the late 4000s until the fall of Dunny. The Watcher lived during the mid 4000s and spent most of his life on hidden, secluded ages. He wrote a book called Words, a prophetical book, Nostradamus type guy. Strange. Though it doesn't seem his prophecies caught on real well at first, through a variety of events, you can ask somebody else if you want to know, know them all, the guy became more and more popular, then faded, then popular again. You know the deal. There was always a core group of followers, but the overall population wavered. I would have mentioned depending on how accurate they viewed his visions. Over the course of a whole lot of copies, over the course of time, a whole lot of, lot of copies of his books were printed. We found plenty of them. As I mentioned, the tree, which I still don't know how to actually get to, was built long before the Watcher. No one at the DRC seems to know exactly what it was built for. Best guesses are that the tree was built early on as a representation of the dunny that had come here, the new tree. They definitely had a thing for trees. So, the Watcher comes along and writes some prophecies. They end up being becoming pretty popular. And they do deal quite a bit with the tree, as much of dunny prophecy does. And an unknown guy bu builds this building with the tree as its focus. Seems like the building was an upper class lounge or, or sitting room, pub, something along those lines. The intellectuals come here and discuss the philosophies and politics of the day, although there was some homage being paid to the Watcher and his thoughts and ideas. This sanctuary, or whatever you want to call it, stayed successful even while ownership changed. It seems it changed as frequently as the philosophies and religious views of the people. It wasn't until Kadish came along, yes, our good friend Kadish, that the thing really took off. Unfortunately, right before the fall. I've just realized I haven't moved in the past few minutes. I'm standing in a building giving an analysis of it without moving. Got a lot of history. So, back to it. Nice little coves in this place. Wouldn't be bad at all with a cigar and... Okay, Kadish and the fall. Kadish was the last guy to own it, and it seems he did some renovations. This is where the history and current day setup get interesting. The Watcher spoke quite a bit, in words, about someone known as the Grower. The Grower is prophesied to do a number of things, and it seems that there were numerous interpretations of, gr of the Grower. Some saw this person as little more than a great lord or king, while others saw this person as a superhuman miracle worker, godlike, conquering time, space and dimension, and everything else. The views on the Grower were as varied as you can imagine. What's important is that Kadish viewed himself as the Grower, as the one the Watcher had prophesied about. As a result, he modified the pop to honor not only the prophet, but himself as well. He seemed to be intent on fulfilling as many of the prophecies as he could, so he built this puzzling path of the shell to the tree, brought the Arcana book here, Kadish was the engineer behind its construction, brought the Anone book here, and claimed that it allowed him to travel through time, back to the Dunny homeworld as it was, as it is, and as it would be. Kadish claimed he wrote the book. 
all of these things to fulfill the prophecies. Even the times of Dunny were significant, because the Watcher claimed to, to see visions of the past, present and future. As a result, he wrote what he saw, never knowing if it would occur in the future, had already occurred in the past, or was occurring as he wrote. People flocked to the place. Not only was it the only way to travel through time, but Kadish himself was the only one who could solve the spiral path of the shell and access the tree. In fact, he would demonstrate his ability to anyone who wanted to come and watch. Nightly challenges were held to see if anyone else could access the room. It seems no one ever did, further confirmation of Kadish as the grower. Kadish bragged that the Watcher clearly spoke of how to solve the room in his prophecies, and that anyone could find the solution there. Easy to say when you did build the thing, maybe. I don't get something. Either way, good luck reading through all of those and figuring out anything, let alone the solution to some kind of weird dunny puzzle. So, it seems that Kadish ran the sanctuary up to the end. Obviously, at some point we know he died. We've all seen the remains of the poor guy. An odd end for a guy that seemed to have so much. Had a book right there, but didn't use it. But that's another story. Okay, history out of the way, and I guess I should finish with this spiral path room. I'm not a big puzzle guy, but the room seems very confusing. A switch closes the door and turns on the light, and some mechanism releases the ball back to its starting point. There are numbers scratched into the walls of the maze as well. Enough of that. I can see myself going crazy in a place like this. Ah, the dunny. Oddly, there's no physical access to from the city that surrounds the building. We know the building is up in Jeteri, a nice district, but there's definitely no way to get in from the outside and vice versa. Not sure if Kadish sealed it up or if it always was, but I would bet the second idea. Makes it handy to limit access. If you don't have a book, you're not getting in here. And that would explain why the books here were never destroyed or taken. That's it for now. I'll probably get back here again after checking Arcana and Anone. Well, that's the notebook about this place, the Watcher's Sanctuary, which, as it turns out, is not in Egura, but in Jeteri, another district of Dunny. That was close, anyway. So, um, we're not quite out of time yet, but in keeping with my tradition of doing notebooks uh, in their own videos, I will continue in the next video.